This episode of DNews is brought to you by Toyota's hydrogen fuel cell vehicles. Leave your mark. Toyota, let's go places. It's 2015. Hollywood prophecy says that we should have flying cars by now. And we don't have flying cars. So how about hydrogen cars? <laughs> Hey everybody, thanks for watching DNews Today, I'm Trace. Fueling your car with hydrogen is weird. Hydrogen, number one on the periodic table. It's a powerful combustible element. It blew up the Hindenburg, but it's also part of water and carbohydrates and so many other things in nature. The thing is, hydrogen, it's a lot of things, and it's in a lot of things, because it's a super simple element. One proton, one electron. And it makes up 75% of all the mass in the universe. Yeah, three quarters of everything is hydrogen. Hydrogen is used for food processing, petroleum refining, and in a variety of industrial applications. The U.S. already creates more than 9 million metric tons of hydrogen annually. So I say again, fueling your car with hydrogen is kind of weird, but it's actually not that weird. You've probably heard of hydrogen fuel cells. They've been around for a while. They were first invented in 1839. They use oxygen and hydrogen to power a car with no moving parts and only emit clean water vapor and heat when burned. And according to many car companies, 2015 might be the year the rubber meets the road for hydrogen as a fuel. When you think of creating hydrogen, you probably think of this. But 95% of America's hydrogen is actually produced using natural gas steam reformation. Factories use high temperatures and pressures to break the natural gas into hydrogen, yay, and carbon oxides, boo. You can also make hydrogen using electrolysis, essentially running electricity through water to split the hydrogen from the oxygen. These are both great things, but something has to generate the electricity for that electrolysis, and in the US that's usually coal power. But if we use wind or solar, then we'd be onto something, right? Once it's made, hydrogen has to then be cooled and stored, which uses more fossil fuel energy. And then you have to ship it to pumping stations using trucks and trains, so you get it. The hydrogen is great, but we kind of suck at making it and moving it around. For now, we're stuck making hydrogen using fossil fuels, which might not be ideal, but that could all change once hydrogen vehicles get on the roads. Why buy a hydrogen car if there's nowhere to fill it up, right? The government and private companies are working to fix that right now. They are partnering to get fuel stations out there. California has a goal in place to have more than 15% of all cars in the state be zero emission vehicles by 2025. And to hit that goal, they've pledged $200 million to build 100 more fueling stations for hydrogen before 2025. There are already 10, though I don't imagine they're very busy since there aren't too many hydrogen cars around, but that should change soon too. Because in tandem with this momentum, a bunch of auto companies have pledged to release hydrogen fuel cell cars this year. And with 100 more stations coming, filling up those cars with hydrogen fuel should be a cinch. According to research from the University of California, Davis, those 100 stations should be able to make fuel cell vehicles cost competitive with gasoline. It's incredible. We'd like to take a second and give a shout out to Toyota for supporting DNews. They were at CES this week and they released their patents to the public for new fuel cell technology and revealed their fuel cell car to the world. It's called the Mirai. They're hoping these royalty-free patents will spurn a hydrogen fuel-based future and spent the last decade reducing the cost of fuel cell production 95%. So this is a pretty awesome deal. Have you ever seen a hydrogen fuel station? Would you want a hydrogen car if you could get one? Let us know in the comments and also subscribe to DNews so you can get more of these videos every single day of the week. Thanks for watching. This episode of DNews is brought to you by Toyota's hydrogen fuel cell vehicles. Leave your mark. Toyota, let's go places.